Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred on TV. I've just come out the King Power Stadium. It was Leicester 1, Tottenham 1. As you can probably hear in my voice, just feel depressed again. Same old story. We worked our nuts off for 80 odd minutes to, to unlock the defence that was Claudio Ranieri's two banks of four. And they were very well drilled and stuff. And then we got the goal, a brilliant assist from Harry Kane, I think it was, for Deli Alley to head it in at the back stick. They celebrated right in front of me. They were so pumped and you're just like, okay, all you have to do is keep it tight, keep it tight. I think it was probably 17, 18 seconds later. Jan Vertonghen has let Mares come inside him when all he has to do is show him down the line. He's left footed, he wants to put it in the top corner. You know he wants to do that. Everyone in the ground knows he wants to do that. So show him down the line. But he didn't and he puts it in the top corner. And after that, to be honest, we could have lost. They had a great chance with a header that I think Lloris saved. I was the other end of the ground, but that's what it looked like. And to me, it's just the same old stuff, there are no leaders. That's the problem, so even if you do get yourself in a situation where you're one up, you just need to hold on to it. The experience isn't there to know how to deal with it, I don't think. Yes, Alderweireld's experience, yes, Larissa's experience, but you need more experience in the spine. And, uh, you know, as some other people have said, it's putting pressure on, on the youngsters, Kane and Mason, who had good games, and the other youngsters, they, it's too much pressure for them to deal with. It's very depressing. We played fine, the tempo wasn't there. But we did okay, no better than okay. Managed to unlock the door. Could have been a nice little one-nil win and a decent start that would have been one, one, drawn one, lost one. And now we're still, at, you know, drawn two, lost one. Three games in Everton at home next. That will not be an easy game. And, you know, the pressure now to, to get players in for the transfer window is unbelievable. I've had some stick last for the last week about us being anti Eric Lamella. He got his chance today. Ericsson wasn't playing, he was unfit. So Lamella got his chance to be the main man to do it. He kept giving the ball away. He kept doing the wrong thing. He show ponies around. I'm sorry, he just does. He just trots around like a show pony. He does everything wrong. It's too late now, guys. We've got to cut our losses. I know it's only my opinion, it's subjective, and, and people should say, will say give him more of a chance, but how long have you got? Soldado had lost his confidence, like Torres had lost his confidence at Chelsea. You can see it with those kind of players and it's the same with Lamello. He's lost his confidence when he went back onto the substitutes bench after he got subbed and the whole crowd cheered, the whole, the whole away fans cheered. He, he looked so solemn and forlorn and it's over for him. I think we've got to take a loan deal with, with, with a, an idea to buy after maybe Juve will come in. Italy probably suits him because it's a slower league, more technical league, but this isn't his league, I'm afraid. Anyway, to try and find some positivity, Dele Alli came on, looked great, got his goal. That's the key, isn't it, for those kind of midfielders? You've got to get yourselves into those positions. And he did. Lamella didn't really do that today. Dembele never plays any through balls. He's great on the ball, he's strong, and he does, you know, he does the, the easy work well, if you like. But he doesn't unlock defences. So when Ericsson's missing, we were struggling until Ali came on and he got himself in a great space. Kane was a workhorse today, works again. I feel sorry for him because he's not really getting any great service. Had a couple of chances, snatched at them a bit. But anyway, like I said, I'm a bit devastated, as you can probably tell. Let me know if you agree with uh, how I saw the game in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs.